everyone and welcome back to my channel. For this video, as you saw in the title, I'm going to be showing you everything that I'm going to be bringing with me to the hospital. I'm almost 37 weeks. I'm sure by the time I get this video up that I will be 37 weeks. So I'll be full term, which is crazy. Cannot believe honestly how fast everything has flown by. So that being said, I really need to get everything together because I can have this baby technically anytime now. I think I'm going to start with Everly's stuff first and then I'll move into my stuff. Let's do this. Yeah. For Everly's bag, I'm just going to be using her diaper bag, which I am in love with. Here is her diaper bag. My wonderful mom got it for me. I love it so much. I think it is so freaking adorable. It is from Miss Fong and I'm absolutely in love with it. It has a long strap. It has a long strap right here. And then it also has like, you can use it as a backpack, which I think is so cute. I love the color of it. I love that it's leather. Because I love that, like, it's still fashionable, you know? It doesn't look like your typical diaper bag. So, thanks, Mom. <laughs> Let me show you guys what it looks like inside, because it has really nice space. So, I don't know what this is for. But this is what it looks like inside. It has this really nice lining around it, so if anything spills or anything, it can be easily cleaned up. And then it has all these different compartments. And I will definitely link it down below if you guys want to take a look. First thing that I want to mention is I am so lucky because I have a friend that actually works in the labor and delivery um, unit of where I will be delivering. So I have been like texting her and being like, girl, tell me everything. What do I need? What do I not bring? And she has been so great. She sent me a list of exactly everything that I need. And honestly, when it comes to Everly, I really don't need hardly anything. She's like, we pretty much provide everything that she needs, even enough to where it's going to be sent home with you. So really, she says the only things you need to bring are couple outfits, some blankets, some swaddles, car seat, pretty much it. But since this is my diaper bag and I'm going to be having a bunch of different things in here anyway, I was like, I'll go ahead and just pack it as I would normally have it. You know what I mean? So first thing is kind of an obvious thing. I'm going to be having some diapers and I just have about five here. So I don't think I'll need them actually at the hospital but they'll be in there because eventually I am going to need them. And then just some wipes. I'm gonna put everything in the diaper bag as I'm doing this. And then at the end, I will show you guys like how I placed everything. So you're pretty much just like packing with me. Next thing that I'm gonna be bringing are some swaddles. And the first one is this one. It is so freaking beautiful. I'm pretty sure I showed, oh, I probably showed most of this stuff in my, um, if I can think. I pretty much showed most of this in my shower haul, so you'll be seeing a lot of things that you probably already saw. But here's a swaddle that I will be bringing, and also I think I'm going to use this for her like first pictures. I think I'm going to swaddle her up and put a little bow on her and have the little letter board by her, and it's going to be super cute. And then I'm just going to bring one other swaddle. This one is actually um, a Velcro one. So I'll unvelcro it. I already had it rolled up like this. So first you take this bottom part and this part and they just Velcro together. This is kind of hard to show on camera. So looks like that. And then you take these this side and just fold it over so super super handy super easy and she'll be all swaddled up in there 
Now I'm going to show you guys a few outfits that I'm bringing for her. First one I am bringing is this cute little um, jumper. Is that what you call it? Jumper, I think. Yeah, I just love the pattern. It's so beautiful. And I love that these has the little mitts that go over the hands. So that's so nice. And this is a newborn size. And the next one I'm showing you is the one that I'm planning on bringing her home in. It's a little bit wrinkled because I had it kind of rolled up and I didn't knot it very good at the bottom, but um, here it is. This is what I'm planning on bringing her home in. So cute. And if you could just feel the material, it is like that super gooey material. It feels so soft. I love the little buttons and the soft pink. And it is from the brand Lulu. I think it was around $30, $34. Um, and I'm just in love with it. It's one of those knotted gowns, so it should fit her really good. And then it has those little mitts as well. I love that. I'm going to be bringing our bows. Now, I know this is a lot, <laughs> but as I was packing, I could not decide which I wanted to go with. So I was like, I'll just pack all of them. I probably should just pick, but they're all just so freaking cute. Look at these. I love this little one. It's so cute. I'll probably end up going with this one though. Or this one. That one's so cute too. So I'll definitely use these little bows with the outfits. So cute. I'm also going to bring just this little hat. This hat would look really good with the little um, jumper. So I might use that instead of a bow. Who knows? If she comes out with a cone head, she might rather wear a hat. <laughs> you never know. And then also, I'm just going to bring a pair of little mitts. As you saw on the outfits, it already comes with, like, built-in mitts, I guess. But what's the harm in bringing a set of little mitts? And I'm just going to bring a couple of bibs. I don't know if I'll necessarily need them at the hospital. It'll be nice to have in my diaper bag either way. So... Here's this little one and it actually matches the um, jumper and then it actually has a little onesie that goes with it too. So it came with like a full set. I love that. And then I have this little one that's really pretty. It just has little flowers on it. And I thought that one would match the other outfit. And then I'm also just going to bring a passy. Again, don't know if I'll need it for the hospital, but it's still good to have in her diaper bag. And then just a couple the little pacifier holder clip things whatever so I just have a brown one and then a lighter tan one and lastly what I'm putting in her diaper bag is this this actually came with the diaper bag which is super handy it is like a little changing pad so love that I thought that was such a cool feature because I was actually planning on buying one and when I saw that it came with one I was like heck yeah and another thing that I'm going to put in her diaper bag once I have it is actually I don't have any burp cloths, but my mom has purchased a lot for me. She's just going to bring them when she comes. So let me pack all of this stuff in here and then I'll show you kind of how I organized it. Okay, so hopefully I can kind of show you this. Um, so in the back compartment, I put her wipes and her diapers. And in the middle, I put swaddles and just her two little outfits. And then down here in these compartments, I put, what did I put? I put her bibs on one side and then I put hats, bows, and passies on the other side. But there's another feature that I want to show you guys about this bag that is super cool. On the side of the bag, you will see there's like this little zipper right here. And if I pull this down, it leads straight to the diapers. How cool is that so that'll make it super easy to change her when we're on the go and everything i love that that's why i'm keeping the diapers in the back i cannot wait to use it <laughs> just a few more weeks yay i forgot to put this in but i think what i'm gonna do with this is i'm just gonna stick it in the back pocket good to go a few other things that i'm gonna bring for everly are her letter board and her baby book and some blankets but I'm not gonna be sticking those in her diaper bag so that's what I'm showing you now next thing I'm going to be bringing is her letter board and I already filled out everything that I could so it'll just be super easy got her name and then April time weight inches all that fun stuff so I'll just have to fill out 
that area at the hospital and I'll probably be sticking this in TJ's bag because he's going to bring like a bigger bag for like items like this and snacks and stuff like that. And then I'm just bringing this because it has like the numbers and stuff in it. The else that I'll be bringing is her baby book and I'll also be sticking this in TJ's bag. There's an area of this book where you put their hand prints and feet prints, like you stamp it, you know what I'm talking about? So I'll need to bring this to do that. And then I'll just be bringing a few blankets for her, probably just this one, maybe this one. Yeah. Now moving on to me. I really was like, I have no idea what to expect. Help me, what do I do? Um, and she sent me that same list and it just went down through everything that I needed. I will definitely insert a picture of what she sent me because it was really helpful. They provide all of like the cleaning essential things that I'll be needing, like the squirt bottle. Um, she says I don't need any like pads or just anything like that. Pretty much whatever I don't mention here is something that she said to not bring. <laughs> But she said to not bring those things and also there will be plenty for me to take home to use at home as well. So that's going to be really nice. But I will show you guys what she did tell me to bring. Yes. So the first thing she told me to bring was some underwear. She said that they have some there for you but they're super uncomfortable and I would just feel better just having my own. So that's what I did. I went out and I bought me some granny panties. <laughs> These are just cotton and they're high-waisted and black. I'm sure black's very important because I'm sure a lot of things are going on down there and black's just your safest, safest bet. So I have about four pair, probably won't need all of them, but I got them just in case. You never know. The next thing that she told me to bring was something to be just something that's super comfy to wear, something very loose fitting, something that's really easy to nurse in. So I bought a nursing gown. I'm gonna tell you, it's not the cutest thing in the world, but here it is. It's nice and big, has these buttons on the side, so it's gonna be super easy to just, whoosh, whoosh, you know what I'm saying? And it's really long. She said that I'm definitely not gonna wanna wear pants. It's, I'm gonna look a little bit like a cow, but I pretty much feel like a cow every day these days. <laughs> so it's fine. It's not gonna be the most glamorous thing, but it's definitely gonna be nice and comfy. And that's, I'm sure, what I'm gonna care about. Along with that, she told me that I will also probably want to bring a robe. I just had this one. This is just one that I already had at home. It's just nice and comfy. I'm just gonna bring this one raw right hair. Currently though, it does not fit around my stomach. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna fit around my stomach after I give birth, but I mean, if I'm just like wearing it over this, it should be fine, you know. I really don't feel like buying another robe. <laughs> she actually didn't mention that I needed to bring this, but I, since I already had them, I was like, I'll just go ahead and bring them anyway, just in case, because I have no idea. Because I don't think your milk really comes in till what, I think three days afterwards. It's just the what, what is it called? Colostrum? Col I might be totally wrong, but I know it's not normal milk that comes in until a few days. But I'm going to go ahead and just bring some nursing pads. I just have like three pair, I think. Boom. Next thing I'm gonna bring is a water bottle. Um, I have no idea even where I got this water bottle, but I like it because it has this little straw that comes with it. That'll be really nice to have. Next thing I'm going to be bringing are these slippers, and I just recently got these off Amazon. Um, they're so cute, so I'll definitely be wearing these after the hospital as well. I like that they're a little more durable at the bottom, so it'll be easier to like slip on and walk around if I need to. That's something that she did also tell me to get was some just easy slide on shoes. Another thing that I don't have here with me right now is I'm going to bring probably a pair of just like 
old flip-flops because I know a lot of people say that you'll probably want some if you're like taking a shower just for sanitary purposes. So I'll probably just throw in some flip-flops. Next, I am going to be bringing a nursing bra and I currently, as of right now, only have one nursing bra. <laughs> Gonna have to get more. I've just been so focused on Everly. Honestly, I totally forgot that I'm gonna need things too. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Funny story, how I actually got this nursing bra was I had an account from Adore Me and long story short, I totally forgot I had it and I built up credit for like $200. <laughs> So I needed to spend that. Obviously they already took your money, so I'm like, oh, might as well just use it. And I saw they had one nursing bra on here. So I was like, well, I might be happy about that later on. And this was the one that it was. So it's a little flashy, but whatever, you know, it'll work. As for my going home outfit, I think I'm probably just gonna wear the same thing that I wear to the hospital since I'm probably not gonna wear that outfit for very long. I'll be putting on one of their gowns. And it's just like one lesser, one less thing that I'm gonna have to pack. But I am going to bring a beanie. I honestly highly doubt I'm gonna wanna wash my hair. I'll probably wash my body, but I probably am not gonna wanna worry about my hair. So I don't know how it's gonna be looking on that last day there. So I might want to put on a hat, just knowing myself. And then I'm just bringing a couple pair of socks. Good to have some socks. I have these cute little toiletry bags that I got for Christmas. And I was looking at them, I'm like, oh, these would be really good to use for this. First thing, what I have in this bigger bag, ooh, acid reflux is getting real right now. I don't think I'm gonna be washing my hair, but just in case, I went ahead and I packed shampoo and conditioner. TJ and I actually use the sh same shampoo and conditioner. So if I don't, whoa. So if I don't use it, he will. I just went ahead and packed it. And then also some body wash. Have that all ready to go. And then my toothbrush holder. I don't have my toothbrush in it yet, but I have the holder. And then also I am bringing my shower cap. Also in here, I just have some toothpaste and then some lip balm. I heard that women's lips tend to get really chapped during birth. I don't know why, but I heard a lot of women say, bring lip balm, you're gonna want it. So I got some lip balm. And then what I put in this little bag is I have all of our headphones and I'm gonna have our chargers in here as well. Don't have those in here yet just cause I'm using them. This is actually for like lipsticks and stuff, but I thought it was a perfect size for little things like that. I also have this little bag. I'm going to be putting my face wash and like moisturizer in here. And then I already put some um, ponytails and then some bobby pins. She says that you're definitely gonna want some hair tie and bobby pins cause things get messy. <laughs> well, I'm also going to be bringing my purse and that's where I'm gonna have like my wallet, my insurance stuff. And then I'm also gonna be bringing some makeup and I'll just stick it in my purse. When it comes to like irons and stuff, I don't know if I'm gonna be wanting to curl my hair. I have no idea. I don't know how I'm gonna feel. I might just be like so out of, I, I literally have no idea. But if I do decide to bring like my irons and stuff, I'm just gonna throw them in TJ's bag. And another thing that I'm going to be bringing that I don't have currently with me yet, but it is coming in this week, is my diffuser. I definitely want to bring a diffuser. I just feel like it'll really help calm the environment, just put some lavender in there. Last thing I'm going to be packing for me is my boppy pillow. This is something else that she said that is really handy to have. I'm guessing for like nursing, um, I know it's really easy to kind of put the pillow around your belly and then just have the baby right here nursing, you know. I'll also be bringing one of my pillows. Just she says that hospital pillows and blankets are not all that comfy and just to make you feel more comfortable, she recommends like bringing your own pillow. So I'll be doing that. I'll go ahead and show you my bag that I'm gonna be using. Which is this bag right here. This is just from Bath and Body Works. So I'll have 
this bag, my purse, and the diaper bag. And then TJ's bag, which we still need to get. I want to get some snacks and like some good snacks and stuff. So we need to take a trip to the grocery store and get some snacks. I really hope I'm not forgetting anything. So a little update on my pregnancy. At my last appointment, my 36 week appointment, my doctor checked me because I have been having a lot more Braxton Hicks, which I'm having one right now and that's why my face is like turning all red. So at my last appointment, which was 36 weeks, she checked me to see if I was dilated at all because I have been having a lot of Braxton Hicks and come to find out I am actually two centimeters dilated and 80% effaced. Which is so crazy because my mom, when she was pregnant with me, we have been having all the same symptoms, I guess. Just everything has been happening so much the same. She's like, yep, at 36 weeks, I was about two centimeters dilated. And then yesterday, I actually lost my mucus plug. And she was like, that's exactly what I did. And a week later, you were born. So I'm like, that's crazy. And even the doctor, she was like, you could definitely be a little bit earlier. And she's like, especially since your mom was. Also, when she was checking to see kind of like placement where she was, she is super low, head down, ready to go, which is awesome. Just stay that way, little munchkin. So this baby could definitely be here a little early, which is so hard to plan because my family actually lives in Texas and Arkansas, Texarkana. And so my mom, my sister definitely wanna be here for the labor and delivery and everything. And then my dad and everyone else is just gonna come right after. I'm just praying that God makes it so clear when I'm gonna be in labor and not saying that I'm praying for a super long labor, but just long enough that they can get here and everything just goes really smooth. I'm trying not to stress about it. You know, everything's gonna happen the way it's supposed to happen. And as long as she is healthy and as long as I'm healthy, that's all that matters. So that's a little bit of an update. I am so beyond excited to have her and I'm feeling a lot more prepared now that I have everything that I need. Her nursery is just about done. I just need a few more things. Hopefully I can get the nursery tour up before she's born. Considering I'm just about full term and she could honestly come at any time. I don't know. By this weekend it will be done and I'm gonna do a nursery tour. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I think that's pretty much it. If I'm missing anything that you like, oh girl, you need this, please put it down in the comments. That would be much appreciated. Thanks again for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will hopefully see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.